I am totally not playing with you. But I'm bummed. Your board games could be collecting more than dust. It could actually be collecting cash. Wow. Cha-ching. <laughs> Such a dork. <laughs> I snorted. <laughs> Hey there, my who's it's and what's it's peeps. I am Debbie and I teach ambitious dreamers how to make mad cash on eBay. If you want to learn my secrets, just subscribe and also stalk me on Instagram and Facebook. Oh, and, and you can go check out my brand new website, who's it's and what's it's dot com. <laughs> You're stuck at home. You need to make some money and you just might feel the urge to purge because it's spring, right? Is that you? Uh, I know you're probably feeling a little overwhelmed though too, like where do I start? Which is no problem at all because I'm gonna show you where you can look in your home, things you can look for in your home that you can sell on eBay right now for some cash. Board games is one of the very first things that I used to sell when I got started selling on eBay. I loved it. In fact, um, it, I really just happened upon it on accident because I was at a garage sale and I ran into a Milton Bradley Hotels board game. I bought it for 50 cents and took it home, listed it, and sold it for $75. I was super excited. So after that, I looked for board games everywhere I went and sold them like hotcakes. I just loved it. But <laughs> when you're selling board games on eBay, the rules of supply and demand kind of go out the window. Um, it really, there's no rhyme or reason as to which board games are worth money and which ones are not. You might think it's vintage, so it's going to be worth something. And just because it's vintage does not mean it's worth anything. And then you might think, oh, this is brand new. So it's going to go for quite a bit. And again, it may go for like five bucks. So each board game is just something you have to look up and do your due diligence on when you're looking at completed listings on eBay. So let's go over how we're going to research these board games. Okay, when you are researching your board games on eBay, well, obviously you're going to type it into the search bar, but don't get too crazy with the details, you know, keep it broad. So just maybe type in the name of the game. The name of the game. That reminds me of an ABBA song. <laughs> Anyway, um, so you type it in, don't forget to scroll down in your left-hand column, go to completed listings and find it. Now, also, when you do your research and you figure out what the board game is worth, you also wanna go ahead and go back up to the top and type in the name of the board game again and pieces or parts and then do some research on that and see what the parts are going for because it just might be more lucrative to sell it that way. In this case, it's not, but you still want to check. And that brings me to my first bonus tip of the day. You can sell pieces or parts of the board game if you don't have all of the game. Also, go ahead and look it up even if you do have all the parts because the parts and pieces could be worth as much or maybe even more than the board game in its entirety. So make sure you look up each and every one for the pieces to see if it's lucrative. Also, the benefit of that is that you can usually fit the pieces in a bubble envelope so it's easier to ship and lighter and cheaper. The most recent board game that I sold was um, just this year. I bought a Monopoly wooden collector's edition game for $12 at a thrift store. I sold it, well I actually listed it for $200, but it did not sell for $200. I ended up accepting an offer um, and it was around $150. So, you know, a $12 purchase, sold it for $150 and it was a Monopoly game. Now, that doesn't mean that all Monopoly games are worth $150. It just happened to be a collector's edition, the wooden one that, that was worth that much. So again, you just have to look up each game and if it's the specific one, you know, that you're looking at that's gonna be worth money. Is that making any sense? You know what I'm trying to say. You have to look up the specific Monopoly game. <laughs> so get out those board games, maybe play a few last rounds, cash in on those Monopoly bucks with actual bucks by selling it on eBay. 
Mm -hmm. But you know what else you could make some easy bucks on? Empty toilet paper rolls. Think I'm kidding? Nope. Check out this video.